we call our dogs that work in the hospital since they actually have a full-time job in the hospital facility dogs. They are working as therapy dogs. Let's go. Let's go, sweet girl. Let's get ready for our day. A lot of us do different kinds of targeted therapies with the patients. So Izzy um, gets in the bed with patients. She just lays there and lets the kids love her, pet her, brush her, whatever um, is needed or um, suggested for that patient. Here we go. You wanna go visit some patients? Come on. So as far as Izzy's personality and what she's, she's very calm, she's very loving. She never meets a stranger. She walks up to everybody and puts her head or leans on them. And so um, she's just got the perfect personality to, to work with patients and families um, that are here. I would say them, one of the most important things they do is love that person unconditionally because that dog is there for them the entire time. Izzy was trained at Canine Assistance and she was trained to do things to help people. So they train them to turn on lights, to open doors, uh, pick up things and hand them to people, um, those sort of things. I, I will say that we have had so much support and so much um, from our staff that love them so much and want visits that we finally got our first staff support dog last week. So all of our dogs have focused so far on patients and patient interaction, which we see lots of staff, but that was our main focus. And um, I think everybody realizes now that, we, that our staff need the dogs just as much as the patients need the dogs. The staff see lots of things. They work with patients that are having all kind of difficult health issues, families that might have news that they don't need to hear or want to hear or no one wants to hear about a child. And it, it affects you as a staff member, it affects you as a nurse or a doctor or anybody that works on the floor with patients. Um, some days they just need some, some love. They've had a, hard, a really hard time and, they, and the dogs are amazing what they can do. So the handlers here at Eggleston, we have a text group and we text each other when we're going outside. We meet once or twice a day um, in the garden to play ball, to run, to, to be dogs and to get away from, from what we, um, from our work day. Just like people go for a walk or people go, you know, have a quiet time um, away from their desk. So it just gets their mind off what they're doing and gives them some time to play. I think they know they're loved. I think they know that we care about them and that our system, you know, as a dog, do they, do they really know? But they, they feel loved. They, um, they feel honored. And I, I think it's just as important for the people as it is for the dogs to, um, to honor them. And because it's such a privilege to have them. It is no bigger honor or privilege to do what we do.